Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 things that we've changed in our van since we started living in it over a year ago. These might be things that we added or removed, uh, just things overall that we've changed. So number one, uh, th this is kind of, this is technically three things in one. And some of these things it, it, throughout the list may seem small. Some might seem bigger. This is all together because it was uh, something that we decided to not uh, start the journey with uh, after trying our first night in the van, but we still had an apartment. We just, we just wanted to try it uh, just to get an experience to see maybe if, if we're overthinking things or if we still have space and what, what, can, what works, what doesn't kind of a thing. And number one, let me get up. Oh, I gotta stop being lazy. There you go. Number one, Yes, is a TV, a DVD player, and a PlayStation. I can't, I'm not sure if we were going to bring the DVD player. Technically, it was a Blu-ray player uh, because the PlayStation 4 did play DVD players. So now that I think about it, it's, it's kind of silly for me to have put that on the list. But yeah, so this white table over here, we had a very similar table to start with. But for all purposes, it might as well have been this one. It goes like from from this table or from this uh, door here all the way to maybe here. So it's kind of big. Uh, and the TV is pretty much the same length. So at night, if we want to be watching things with the TV on that table, it's just annoying that if I have to go, if I have to get up to pee or something or, or who knows, to drink some water, there's no space. So after that first night, we decided TV no DVD player and PlayStation, no. However, oh, I don't know if I'd be able to show you real quick how we do watch things. Where's the tablet? Under my pillow. Under the pillow. That's good to know before I jumped on the pillow. So how we do at least still watch some TV is by doing this. Uh, I will show you real quick. I just stick the, that's backwards. All right. I don't wanna be wasting too much time doing this, but I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit. Oh yeah. Oh wait, hope I'm not breaking it. So whoa, there you go. So if you're watching TV, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it looks funny on the, that looks hilarious. That's so jank. But yeah, that's how we watch. If we're watching something, that's pretty much where it'll be. Whether we're watching some soccer, some, uh, a movie or something. We can also watch, we have a laptop, so we can use that as well, but that's pretty much at night, when we're both laying here, that's how we're watching TV and movies and other stuff. So yeah, we didn't start with the PlayStation and the TV. Number two, this, this is kind of an extension of that, but number two, it was something that we added, not removed, which was this small table. Because by using this table, we realized, yeah, it's, it's a bit too big. So this one is also very light. Look, look, see, I'm either very strong or this is very light. But I can lift it with just one hand. Whew, I say, as I'm out of breath. Okay, I just had to do that tablet thing with one arm as well. So give me some credit. But yeah, this is a very small, light, uh, sort of flimsy table. But it works, it folds, and it pretty much ends up like that one as well, vertically. And that I think in the other video that I made, this is where they both were right here. So, yeah, that was a good addition for when we need a table, but we don't need a big table. Number three, we removed a water jug that had a, a hand uh, pump. I don't really know, like, you just got to press it down and then it pumps the water out of the jug. It's one of those, like, I, I think it was 15 liters, but I don't know how much that will be in, like, gallons or any other units or something like that it used to be so we used to have i don't want to spoil the rest of the video but pretty much it used to be right here and because of the sp the space of it the size of it and the, the the weight of it it was in the way of the fridge at the time so it was you know you got to move it here you got to move it there but look where's water right now you don't even see where you'd think that we're like machines that don't drink water there's our water here and the rest of the water is at the front right now because 
whenever we're parked somewhere, the water's all lined up over here and then we move it to the front. But see, it's a, it looks a little, a little more tidy this way without having a big jug uh, in the way there. Oh, I told myself not to do that. Uh, a big jug in the way. So eventually we removed it. It was cool. It was okay, but it's just in the way. So let me, let me move here now. Ooh, number four. This one might seem like a small one, but a large cooking pot. So let me open up, let me move this. And you're going to hear the squeak, squeak. But as you can see, there's not too much space in here. Uh, and this is our like cooking stuff. But so if you can see this one, you can barely even see it is how small it is. But that's usually what we make our, this one right here. We used to have like a big cooking pot here. And the idea was, We'd cook enough for leftovers, put it in the fridge, and there you go, there's leftovers. Uh, but it was just too big. We realized that with a fridge or not, we just don't really cook huge amounts anymore. So it, it gives us extra space and yeah. So we decided to move, move on with our life without the large cooking pot. Number five. Uh, this one I think is more important than the, the large cooking pot. Uh, number five is a two burner camping stove. So I should have actually prepared this before, but again, I, I, I want to try to see if I can do it with one hand. Because if I can do it with one hand, then clearly it was a good idea to, to do it. It's this right here. So number two, we decided to get rid of the... Oh, oh the two burner camping stove. And what we do now is just this one single burner. It screws right here onto the little propane thingy. And it, it's, it can be down on the floor here. I think sometimes we'll have it up here, but like then it's kind of high up. Uh, most of the time it's on the floor here. And that's how we cook or make coffee or tea or, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put that back in there. Not, not yet. So pardon the clutter, but you're gonna look at, you're gonna look at that for a little while. Uh, so yeah, we, we got rid of a two burner camping stove, which was probably almost the entire length of this, maybe even more of this table. Uh, again, the idea behind that was if we wanted to cook something, we didn't want to be restricted to just being able to use one pot, uh, pot or pan or whatever. But we don't find ourselves doing that very much anyway. So we just use this one. It works. It's good. We even had a, a much smaller one than this, but I have it in storage. If I ever bring it out, I'll show it. But if you want to look up what I'm talking about, if you go on uh, uh, online and you look up like a uh, hiking cookware, you'll probably find what I'm talking about. Uh, number six on the list of things that we uh, removed and substituted with is uh, the Reflectix. So if you've watched other uh, van living or car dwelling videos they usually have these like reflecty type material and we uh cut them to fit around all of these windows not not at the front just the two back ones and the two side ones as good as well i don't even know if i can say as good as they are but just they did their job to block the light uh, and that was good whether they kept the heat from escaping or prevented the extra heat from coming in. I'm not really sure if I noticed anything like that, but we got rid of those. And ever since then, I think life has been much better with the, just these. And they use like Velcro to stick there and here. And there you go. You can't, if you're outside, you can't see inside pretty much. So like the, these work in my opinion very well. I love it. Um, uh, Number seven, we added, uh, I have another video, uh, at least one I think, where I talk about this portable solar panel. Uh, we added that because we figured, uh, you know, last year we had the fridge and we figured, you know what, with a little bit of extra solar panel, we won't worry about whether the fridge is uh, draining the battery too much. And to some extent, yes, it definitely helped. But also, I'll talk about it after. To some extent, it helped, definitely. Uh, and it's a solar panel. It does what a solar panel does. Uh, 
it worked. It was a good addition, but I'll get, I'll, I'll talk about the fridge situation a little bit later. Uh, but that was definitely a good addition in my opinion. Uh, oh, actually speaking of, there it is. Number eight is the fridge. Whoa, sorry that I've just been showing you the garbage can. Let me get it out of the way. When, when we're just hanging out in here, usually the garbage can is right under here. It fits right between the legs there of this uh, table. So I'll, I'll have it there for now. Uh, the fridge used to be right here, which is why I didn't really try originally when I, when I built all this to make this back here where the wood connects. Didn't really try to make that look pretty in any way because this was all supposed to be where the fridge went. Uh, and as you can see, uh, there is no fridge. So yes, the solar panel worked. It, it works 100%. I can combine it with the solar panel that's on the roof of the van and it works amazing. But the thing is during the summer, it just gets so hot in Ontario, which is where we mainly have been. Last year we did travel all the way to BC, but in Ontario, it's just so hot and humid that even on a sunny day, in the summer, which will most likely be hot, on a summer sunny day, the fridge just barely ever turns off because it's just so hot uh, that the fridge has to constantly be on to try to keep at temperature inside. So I realized I was spending a lot of a lot of time throughout my day checking is is it still on because I I hear that it's bad for a fridge to be on for too long that it can permanently damage it. So. I don't know if any of that is true, but also at the same time, it stays hot. And then at nighttime, you can touch the sides of the fridge and it's still hot and it's warming up the inside, or at least I feel like it is. Regardless, I didn't want it here anymore because it was stressing me out. So we got rid of it. And uh, someone uh, recommended in the last video that I posted to consider a 12 volt fridge, which would probably be about the size of this cooler, maybe even smaller. Uh, and it runs off of these the car the car plugs is what people know these things as and it would fit right here that uh and it would in theory work better maybe in the future i'll consider that but for now did i not close this did i not anyways maybe in the in the future i'll consider it but for now just using the cooler is is, is working fine for us number nine in things that we added the heated blankets so right now they're in one is in this box and on there's there's another box in there heated blankets for the winter not so much for sleeping because uh at night we can just the two of us we can just get really close together and we stay pretty warm so for overnight even if it goes below freezing it's not a huge deal uh Obviously, if it if it gets really cold and maybe a blizzard and really windy, we, we probably will plug uh, one of the heated, heated blankets in and we'll share it and it'll very likely keep us warm throughout the night. But the idea so far, we haven't had to use it this year, uh, but so far the idea is when we wake up and then we're introduced to the rest of the van that is cold, we could wrap ourselves a little bit in it, plug it in for maybe 20, 30 minutes, and it'll it'll warm us up for the morning. That's the idea so far. We haven't used it. I mean, we know they work, we, but we haven't used it so far to see how practical it is. But I mean, it's a heated blanket. Uh, and th the reason why we felt safe at least introducing the heated blankets was, yeah, because we have the spare solar panel and we don't have a fridge. So we could probably monitor and uh, monitor the battery and make it work when needed. So that was number nine. And now for number 10 is... I'll talk about it after a message from our sponsor. I'm joking. You really think I have a sponsor? I don't have a sponsor. <laughs> Number 10, storage shelves. These little guys right here. So like I said, uh, and I think I talked about it on the last video that we have a rice cooker and we've been making a lot of steamed potatoes and stuff. It's right here. That's the rice cooker. Oh, hey, squeaky. Oh, squeaky. Um, because of the, we needed more storage and pretty much I decided uh, like April-ish to build this. I know it's not perfect. It looks a little wonky, but it is what it is. It works. That's where all our clothes is pretty much. Here we, we still have some sweaters here, but this whole 
uh, this section and that section, or was it this section and that section? I don't know. There was a lot of clothes in here, and now it's pretty much all over here. It allowed us to introduce the rice cooker, which now we can cook rice, we can cook potatoes, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and it just overall gives us a little bit of more, look, this isn't even like terribly packed and stuff. Like it just gives us a little bit more breathing room overall. I think that's the most important thing that we did, the storage shelves. Uh, but overall, these are all, these were 10 things that sort of, that we either removed or introduced into the van uh, that made our lives a little bit better. And uh, eventually, you know, we might make some more changes as time goes on, obviously. But for now, I think we reached a pretty good balance between storage amount, space, uh, what we have, what we don't have, uh, and, and all that kind of nice stuff. And uh, yeah, that was the list. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.